What's up guys, it's Skagman 97 here, and this is going to be a video tutorial on how to share the connection from your Windows 7 laptop to your Xbox 360 so you don't have to go out and buy a Xbox 360 wireless adapter. Um, it's fairly simple. I figured this out on my own. My, I mean, I, I saw videos on how to bridge your connections and, and all that, but I, I was having my connection bridged. Um, until I found this and then it is so much easier and it's so much quicker and yeah I mean I, I just like it a lot better so let's jump into this first thing you need is a Ethernet cable you can use the one that came with the um, the Xbox 360 but I broke mine uh, actually I didn't break mine my dad broke mine but yeah so you need this and you have to have your laptop and your Ethernet cable can or your your LAN connection cannot be used by a like you can't have your computer wired. Your computer has to be wireless, which I, mean, I don't know why would you have that because you could just plug your Xbox into the router. But um, so first of all, now that you have this plugged into here and you have the cord running all the way to the back of your Xbox, you probably can't see that because it's so dark. But once you have have that, you want to come over here to your laptop. And Windows 7, you want to come down here into the bottom right hand corner. You want to hover over your uh, connection. And then you want to click on it. And then right there it says Open Network and Sharing Center. You want to click that. This box will pop up. You want to go to Change Adapter Settings. Now, from here, if you were going to bridge your connection, you would make a. You would uh, highlight both of those. And then you would click Bridge Connection. And. Yeah, I mean, it takes a, uh, about 30 seconds to set up and about 30 seconds to disable if you want to disable it. But this is a lot quicker. What you do is you go over your internet connection. You want to right click and go down to properties. Now, once you're here at properties, you'll see just everything here. Now, you want to go over here to sharing. It'll say allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. So you want to click that. Then it says home networking connection. You want to select a private network connection. You want to go to local area connection. Click on that. And then what that does is it the internet that this receives, it will share it with not all I mean like it'll you still be able to get on the internet and all this, but it'll just share the internet with this uh, Ethernet cable. So now that you've done that, you just want to click OK. It'll take a couple seconds, and then that should be it. Now you just want to exit out of that. Now over here at my TV, go ahead and turn this on. Uh, TV's not turning on. That's great. Should it turn on? Okay, now there we go. Now you want to turn on the Xbox. Now that's on. Let's see here. Should connect. Um, one thing, it does take a little while to connect if you have a slower internet, like mine. Um, like my router all the way downstairs, so it'll take a couple seconds to get going, but if it takes too long, I'll just cut this part of the video out. So, we're just waiting. It, sh it shouldn't take any more than a minute. If it does, you just turn off your Xbox and turn it right back on, and it should go within 10 seconds or so, but... And if it doesn't work the first time, just turn it off and try it again because sometimes it takes a couple. Look at that, right there, first time. So, yeah. Hope you liked the video, guys. Leave me a thumbs up. I know you don't like YouTubers asking for thumbs up and favorites, but just if you could, that's great because it really helps me out. I'm a, I'm a small YouTuber and I'm trying to get big. Uh, I'm getting capture card this weekend, so. Yeah, hopefully I can start posting some start posting some gameplays, I'm sorry. And uh thanks. See you later.